Okay, so the next exercise, which is exercise number 13, talks about uh, design of um, the bridge structure using AIC 360.05 code. If you have not followed uh, the exercises uh, about, you can actually open up my bridge underscore six dot std uh, file from our data sets that we've provided and uh, just follow the instructions given in this in this manual. Now, um, in the previous exercise, we were looking at the stress uh, distributions. I'm just going to turn those off by just right clicking, clicking on labels, force limits, and I'm going to turn that, say that that's none, okay? So if you click on OK, the stress you know, distributions are not, not being displayed now. Okay, so we've analyzed the structure. We know we come up with the force distributions. We've seen displacement diagrams, moment shears, and so on. Now, we want to use those to evaluate if, if that those forces are okay as per the AIC 360.05 code, okay? So on the left-hand side of your screen, which is the last control tab, I mean, the last control tab is the design tab, okay? Um, and this design tab contains uh, steel, concrete, timber, aluminum, and shear wall design modules or sub-tabs, okay? So let's go to the steel and on the right-hand side, the default code that we have is AIC 360.05. The first thing that you need to do before designing this structure is to give up the design parameters, like the yield strength of steel, what method you want to use, uh, what are the unbraced lengths, what are uh, slenderness lengths, and so on, okay? So if you go to define parameters, there's a list of all these design parameters. We've explained those in our technical reference manual if you want. Uh, you can learn more about those in that manual. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to go to this design parameter FYLD, uh, which stands for yield strength of steel. So let's say we want to go with 50 KSI steel. So I'm just going to say 7200 is the yield strength of, of steel uh, for in this model. Okay, click on add. Um, if you go to method, let's say we want to use uh, you know, LRFD load combinations, okay? So, uh, I mean, uh, LRFD code for, for the design, okay? Let's say we go with that, click on add, hit close, and now on the right-hand side, what you see, you see code parameter one, code AIC unified, FYLD7200. Now, uh, step number, uh, sorry, page 102, <laughs> Uh, step number nine tells us to click on the FYLD command and assign it to the whole structure. Okay, we'll just say assign to view, and that's it, okay? We've assigned the whole uh, FYLD to the whole structure. Now, what we want to do next is give a check code command. So on the right-hand side, there is a commands button, and this is step number 10, page 102. Click on check code, click on add, and hit close. So on the right hand side, we have a check code command. We'll just click on assign to view. Okay, click on the check code command, click on assign to view, and click on assign. Okay, so, so the check code command is now assigned. Now, so that's it. You need to run the analysis. You go to analyze, run analysis, save the model. And this time, not only would it come up with the force distribution, but it will actually uh, do steel design. You can see messages like start steel design, finish steel design. Click on the done button. Now, if you go to post processing, on the left hand side, you'll see the beams tab okay so under beams tab you'll see unity check this tab wasn't there before so you see a unity check tab okay now uh, this is step number 16 page 103 if you right click you can actually turn off those ratios that are shown in the graphics okay you go to labels right click click on labels and if you go to design results uh, this is actually step number 17. Uncheck show values, okay? Now one point to note about this 
is uh, the diagrams, okay? So anything that's in the range of zero to one, the unity ratio of zero to one, it's gonna say that it's in, I mean, it's gonna show that to you in green color. If it's more than one, it's gonna be blue or red, okay? So if you click on apply, click on close and just click in the white space, you see there are some members that have blue color, okay? So they are exceeding the ratio of one and there are some members that are in red uh, which are exceeding pay basically 1.5, okay? Now, on the right-hand side, uh, we see the results, but, you know, if your filtering is on, you won't see a lot of, uh, you know, member results. You can right-click and go to Results Setup, and make sure in the range, you know, this is set to All, okay? If you say Group, it's just going to say show the results for that group, okay? So click on OK. Now you see All Members. Now, if you go to Failed Members List, It'll actually show you members that are failing. There are some members that have design ratios of one or more, okay? So, it'll, STAT will actually also tell you why those members are failing, what clause number, what load combination is making it fail, and so on. Now, um, another thing that the person could do is do connection design um, for a joint. In the manual, we give you uh, a suggested method. You can actually look at the maximum tensile forces in a given member where the connection is going to be and uh, compare that uh, you know, to the, uh, you know, sort of you can do like a bolt shear check uh, if you want, okay, for, for that joint. And we give you the formula for, for that, and it's on page number 104 of your manual. In the next session, uh, we're actually going to be looking at integration of StatPro and Structural Modeler to present the information or, or the drawings, okay? Um, so let's say we have finalized the structure. Although so some members are failing, we have to take some action. Uh, let's say we finalize the structure somehow, and and come up with our uh, final design, okay? Uh, then is a good point to export this model to a drawing generation package like uh, Structural Modeler, okay? Uh, so we'll look at that in more detail in the next session.